Well, hello there, this is Trolls from 8DO, and in this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating our absolutely beautiful Claire Bassoon Virtuoso music software library, if we can call it that. Uh, the concept with our Claire series is really to nail the performance of solo woodwinds. When Colin O'Malley and I set out to design these concepts, both for the Adagio series and Claire, it was really to nail the performance aspect. There's a lot of other libraries out there covering sort of the more traditional sampling, but this is really about solo performance where you can feel the player, you can hear that vibrato, nothing is synthetic, it's all real. And let me kick it off here with the lyrical legato, which is the first one we have. We have two different types of legatos in the library. We have a lyrical and a more strong forte-based legato. In this first one here, let me just play the natural articulation. Natural means this is actually the way it was recorded, the legato session. So you're not gonna find long artificial sustains connected to it. It's a shorter note, very expressive. Isn't it lovely with that beautiful vibrato at the end of the note? You can just hear that delicate detail. You can hear the valve clicks. All that stuff is great. We also have breaths in the library. I'll demonstrate those as well. But they're great to put in between as well. But as you can hear here with the natural, it's absolutely a natural performance. There's no fiddling around at all. Another cool feature about the interface is we also got a second player option here. Let me try to play a couple of phrases with and without the second player option so you can hear the difference. The second one is a little darker in its tone. Let me also try to um, switch my fancy uh, Roomworks Cubase reverb off here and try to demonstrate the microphone positions. We got three different ones. We got a closed deck and a wide. So right now without any verb, I'm just gonna be demonstrating the closed and then the deck and the wide and then try to combine them all so you can get a feeling for it. And as you could probably hear, there's a notable difference in the way it sounds. The close is very, very tight. The deck has that very far kind of sound, and the white has a notably more wide and a little more um, dark tone to it. Uh, let me try to keep all three mics on uh, for this next part here. I'm gonna try to play a little bit with our more soft articulations here. So again, we're still playing the legato system, but this time the legato articulation is gonna mesh or merge into some more soft vibrato expressive type of sustains. One of the super wicked things about this, and also with the clarinet, is that we've really figured out how to do legato fast now. As you can hear, everything you're hearing right now is live from the keys. You can simply play that fast. Um, let me try another thing here, playing um, some elaborate intervals again, but let me try here to play some of the more strong ones here. So these are more strong types of sustains and arcs.
let me also demonstrate our Staccatissimo here. We got this uh, on a request on a forum. Somebody wanted to hear a little more about our short notes here. Uh, massive round robin. I'm going to try to play hard in the beginning and then sort of play softer so you can hear uh, the velocity layers as well as the, the round robin. <laughs> And as you can probably hear, it has a tendency to get a little more quacky on the hard intervals, particularly in the, in the deeper notes as well. Um, let me try to move on here. Um, we also have a variety of arcs. This is something we introduced in our Dacia series. These are different sustain types that has personality to them. So you can see the dynamic ranges here, what they go from and to. Uh, let me try to play just a couple of very basic notes here so you can get a feeling for the different archetypes here. And of course, these go great together with the Adagio strings. And it's also these archetypes that we're using in the legato system that I introduced up here. But here you got them all lined up um, for your playing pleasure. Also, let me show you the bonus program here. This one contains a variety of minor and major runs, both up and down. We also have a variety of breaths and valve clicks. And both the breaths and the valve clicks are easy to ignore. They're sort of anonymous, non-musical sounds. But I actually use them in all my demos. I think they add that personality, that human aspect that you tend to lose when you just play the, the sort of performance samples by themselves. <laughs> Here, uh, I'm not going to bother playing in this demo because we've played most of it. But here we have um, our general articulations, staccatissimo, macado, sustains, um, minor second and major second trills. Now let's move on to this guy here. This is our strong legato patch. So the first one I was playing was the more lyrical one. This one has a little more punch. Um, it can do a lot of really highly expressive stuff. Um, as you can see, again, we got the natural articulation. This time it's stronger. You also got some different archetypes here. We've got more medium and strong arcs. And again, you can play the Staccatissimo and Mikado as well. Uh, I should also briefly mention that if you notice when I play, I use a lot of these CC1 and CC11 here uh, that controls the expression dynamics. It's really important for, if you really want to get into the expressions, you use both. We see a lot of customers to sort of ignore that and kind of just want to use the mod wheel. But you kind of want to assign these guys to your faders. So I have my faders at CC1 and CC11. It just gives you a lot more expression to deal with. And obviously down here, you can also, if you really want to play even faster than I'm doing, you can increase the legato speed and the legato volume down here as well. But let me play around with the um, strong legato here. Isn't it just a tad wicked that you can play trills and runs like that on the keyboard live without doing anything? That's what I'm talking about when we go really into the fast legato techniques, the playability of the instrument. It's just right at your fingertips with expression. Anyway, I don't see any other logical reasons for punishing your ears more with our bassoon samples. My name is Trolls. This was the Claire Bassoon Virtuoso at 8 Thanks for watching.